I'm sure after after a tough road trip, that might be one of the tougher ones you take. Yeah, the Montanas are always tough. It's obviously uh, they've always had uh, traditionally strong programs. Um, obviously, we did not play the way um, we wanted to uh, on many sides and many fronts on that Thursday night. But I was very uh, very proud of their effort and their re focus comes Saturday and, they, and I thought we got better and that's the thing we're always striving for with this team is is getting better each time we step on the floor and that you know the season hasn't started the way we wanted but it's, it's still about getting better and, and overcoming um, those scenarios and, and, and there's been a lot of growth and, and now we just hopefully we can continue to constrain some things together and start seeing some wins. The four teams you played maybe might be the four uh, up in the standings maybe coming at the end of the season? Could be, yeah, definitely. I think Montana and not taking anything away from Idaho mm -hmm. or Eastern Washington or Northern Colorado, I think Montana, uh, since we played them, is probably the best team yeah. I've seen just because of the way they defend and they have rim protection and, and the ability of guards who can get their feet to the paint. Uh, so, but yeah, I mean, you look at, I think the, the teams that we've all played right now, what are they, 15 and three? Mm -hmm. And then you bring in Weber and, and Idaho State, who's off to a 3 0 start, is playing great. Uh, so it's like our, our strength of schedule to start the league uh, with a new team uh, couldn't be any more difficult. What have you been pleased with the last couple of games, team wise, that you've seen uh, making strides? Uh, uh, the big thing is uh, just a lot more. Uh, we, we, we've kind of simplified things defensively and getting back to uh, some, some staples and, and just really trying to defend as a unit and protect the paint more, um, guarding the dribble better and uh, focus on our transition to offensively, just moving the ball. I think we've been more aggressive. We're still getting zoned a lot, but uh, we're, we're executing at a higher level against that. More confidence in the ball is doing a di nice job of moving and hitting multiple people. So there, again, it, there's a lot of growth. It's still, sometimes we, we don't recognize that because shots don't always fall, but the execution is even all year long for the most part has been good. We've had some careless turnovers, and um, but through the course of the game, we've had very good execution. Now it's just about finishing a possession with a, with a made basket and defensively made defensive mm -hmm. possession with a, with a defensive rebound. Um. Just talk about the weekend. What do you expect? It's, you've been, you know, tough trip on the road. What do you expect coming back here and playing at home? Uh, obviously, teams gonna give us their best shot. We ain't been playing to our full potential, but um, we we done been in the lab, got some work in, and trying to just make the adjustments we need to make in order to get these wins. Personally, you feel like you're <laughs> progressing, maybe on, on on course of how you wanted to be in your first year. Uh, for sure, for sure. Offensively, I've been going, but uh, I feel like a lot of my offense have has come from the defensive end, just being. Just yeah. getting more in tune with the with the structure and how the how our program is ran, and uh, I think that's been doing good for me. What about uh, you know the team as a whole? I mean, it's not where you want to be, but do you think there's progress still being made? Oh, for sure, for sure. Hopefully, we get this win tomorrow, and we we'll let that speak for us. What what parts of the game and team wise have, have you noticed that's getting better? Uh, communication. I feel like that's that's a big part of what we lacked and caused a lot of our downfall, you know what I'm saying, communication, just believing in the process, believing in what the coaches need us to go out there and do, and okay. it will be solid. And then the last thing I have here is that you're shooting. Uh, you, you're starting to knock down some threes. You get a little more confidence? For sure, for sure. I've been confident, but just seeing them fall, that'll just, you know, that'll just get you going a little bit more. My question for you, Trey, is just watching practice today, it seemed like there's a lot more talk, a lot more pep, a little more energy. What do you think that difference was and what does that mean just to uh, kind of take some confidence into tomorrow night? Uh, I feel like we we just sick of losing. Uh, I, I know I got a group of guys that just like me, real competitive and really want to win and I feel like we, we've been down and I know this is a must win for us tomorrow. So I just think that energy that we need to get this win was, was brought today during the practice. All right. Thanks. Yeah.